Hey guys, this is Martin and welcome back to the Firefox extension mini series. Today's extension we are going to take a look at is something called Truffelhawk. So you come over once again, you can Google for this, you Google Truffelhawk Firefox extension and then you end up at this page and you simply install it. Once you have it installed, you can basically come over here to Truffelhawk and then it gives you uh, quite a few options right like so it can look for generic secrets like api keys and, and passwords and stuff like that in source code for example if developers have forgotten something um it can give you like specific secrets it can give you aws keys right it it can look for in, environmental files right um this may trigger web bands so be careful with this so you may might want to turn this off because uh some webs simply react uh, same goes for git by the way yeah here like if if you browse for dot git which is like a git repository and sometimes customers leave that on on, on the website and stuff um this may trigger web because the web will say like hey this is not an ordinary user request because <laughs> normally users will not search or uh, browse for these specific extensions right so be careful you you have the, the alerts uh, option which is kind of a pop-up it almost looks like a cross-site scripting so it's not a cross-site scripting actually it's it's just an alert like okay I found a secret I found an API key in this JS file in this JavaScript file or whatever and stuff like that and then um, you have a couple of um, customization options here right like so your findings um, clear all origins for example and then you can download all the findings after you're done browsing so I find this incredibly useful because again it saves time when you do bug bounty hunting and things so if you browse your target website or your pen test engagement website and stuff like that and then once you're done you just download the findings and you analyze them manually and I, I found interesting things with that extension and I'm not saying you need it um, I just find it useful and it speeds up time because usually like I'm a heavy burp user and I, I know that the places to look out for in burp but um, this is super cool like if you browse around obviously don't abuse this right like um, if you are browsing a normal website turn it off right like it's, it's none of your business if you browse around um, regular websites and you're not testing them like you're just surfing around um, don't gather AWS keys or secrets and stuff like that right but uh, for bug bounty hunting for pen testing super useful um, I hope you like it and please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in one of the next videos. Many thanks, Martin.